Ready? Here comes Ready? the good guys. Ready? Ready? Good morning! Today's Thursday, the 29th. And it's the real 29th, not the fake 29th like I said yesterday. So let me tell you guys what happened. Okay, I don't know if I told you about the random guy that I met by the mailbox. And he seemed really nice, but I was outside. I was on the phone with my friend. I was walking Bentley. And he seemed interested. And I was like, I never talk to guys because, like, I just, I can't. But I'm like, you know what? It's year of the YOLO. I'm 33. Like, I need to just stop being a bitch and be open to new people and new situations. Because if you keep doing the same thing, you'll get the same results. So I was like, okay, he doesn't look like, you know, weird. And he's like, oh, do you live here? And I'm like, yeah, like, obviously if I'm checking the mail and I have a key, I live here. But anyways, I gave him my phone number. I never give out my real phone number, but I couldn't remember, like, my fake backup phone number. It's a real phone number. It's just not, like, my real phone number. And this light hates me, but we know that. It hates me every morning. He texted me, like, last night, kind of late. And it was a nice text. It was like, you know, I'd like to get to know you better. I've been thinking about texting you all day. Um, do you want to get together and maybe watch a movie and have some wine? First, I'm like, okay, you don't need to take me to, like, Fogo de Chao or, like, Free Free Fru Fru and spend a million dollars on me. But, like, you can take me on a real date. Or it's just something simple. We can go to Applebee's. But it's just, like, I don't know. Home dates, to me, mean booty call. So, I was like, you know what? Maybe he wants to... Maybe, you know, that's just how he wants to get to know me. We can watch a movie and have wine, whatever. So I'm like, sure, that sounds nice. When do you think you'd want to do that? And then he's like, oh, what's your apartment number? And I'm like, why do you need to know? And he's like, so we can watch a movie. And I'm like, okay, so. And I get a text like 20 minutes later and now it's almost like 12, it's after 12 o'clock in the morning, saying, I'm at your apartment. No, he said, I'm on my way. And I said, um, I'm going to bed. It's like 12.15. And then he said, okay. And then I fell asleep. And then I happened to look at my phone. And it said, I'm here. And then I just ignored it because I, why would you come to my house at 12.30 in the morning to watch a movie and drink wine? Cause you want to get the baduti. And you're not going to get the baduti cause I don't give my baduti away. Like, I don't hook up with random people. I don't make out with random people. I don't do sex with random people. I just value my goodies too much just to give them away to any random Tom, Dick, or Harpo. So, then, when I wake up this morning, I had eight text messages and seven missed calls. So then he's like, oh, good morning, and there's more, and I didn't even read them because, you know what, I really can't entertain people that, why would he think I'm going to let some strange man that I just met the day before yesterday, I don't even know his name, okay, but like, I know his name. God, I can't even tell a story. Why would he think I would let him come over to my house at 12.30 in the morning? And I don't even know him. And he seemed like a nice guy, and I don't know. But obviously he doesn't have common sense, so we need to just cut that off right now. And I haven't texted him back yet, and when people ignore me, it pisses me off. So I'm not going to do that to him, but I'm just going to tell him that I don't know if I want to hang out with him because... Or I don't know what he's looking for because I just don't hang out with strangers at 12.30 in the morning. But he knew what building I lived in. So I thought, anyways, I'm on my way to work. Today's going to be the best day ever. I've really been struggling the last couple of days with, like, I don't know, concentration, focus, and just getting stuff done. I've just, it's been, like, a struggle. I'm kind of in a rut. So I'm hoping that I can just work through it today and be done. I'm gonna be late. It's 9.15 and I'm not even on the highway yet. And I'm going to the Romeo Santos concert tonight. Bachata all night long. I'm so excited. It's his world tour and he's coming to Atlanta. So me and Brandisha are going. I just, I didn't want to go by myself. What is going on? I don't know what's going on, but the streets are hot this morning. That's like the 
seventh police car that's just sped by in a different direction. So I hope everything's okay. And if you committed a crime, they're looking for you. So we're going to go to the Gwinnett Center. I don't know. Whatever the concert place is. So this should be a fun night. And Aaron Bear's going to babysit the Bentleys. Not babysit, but I can't leave him alone from 9 in the morning to like 11 at night. Like that's freaking cruel. So she's going to come over when she gets out of work and feed him and love him and play with him. Because she's the best auntie bear of all time and I love you very much. And now I'm going to get on the highway and I will talk to y'all later. Walking in oh. and we're I'm noticing the cultural differences because she doesn't understand um. how our Latin cousins wear like gowns. Okay, like legitimately, this and is just up to me. Like I like got fancy for for like the concert. I was like, let me get fancy. Like I have jeans with holes. No, you got to wear That's your prom fancy. dress with some gloves. And your prom dress should actually be your little sister's prom dress from like two years ago. Basic. You need Before to take you had a baby. your quinceanera dress. <laughs> Seriously, but now you're 30. <laughs> and that's just to go to public. And you're gonna wear hot pink shoes that don't even match and <laughs> like seriously lumpage everywhere. Like I feel so skinny right now because I feel like I'm wearing like the loosest clothes ever. Do you know that these pants are like fuck eye on me right now? I seriously am like I just ate a burrito. I feel like a burrito, actually. I feel like chicken. I feel like chicken. Actually, I like ate nachos, cheese. but you can't really look like nachos. Nacho cheese. So, like, we're gonna go see Romeo, and we're gonna be like, Romeo, we're gonna have your babies. And I'm gonna, gonna be gonna like, sister wives. We are gonna be sister wives. Of Implant Romeo's your baby in me. Implant it. Give me your baby. Have a baby by me. Baby, be a millionaire. Ready? Here comes the guys. Ready? 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 You need tickets? Oh, no. Thank no, you hablo español. Gracias. <laughs> you know they only learned the word boleto us like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> the Urban Dictionary ticket in Spanish. Boletos. Dude. Like, no, dude. Dude, dude. That shit's still illegal, even in Spanish. We good. <laughs> we good. Like, who goes, who just like goes to a place where there's a concert and just like hopes that they're maybe going to find a guy in the parking lot? Black people. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> you racist. We hustle. 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 Every hustle. Day hustle. Every day. Every day we're hustling. Are you speaking his shirt? <laughs> yeah, he needs like the perfect fitted shirt. Oh, they keep shirt. faking me out. I'm so excited. Come on. <laughs> I'm like, they keep screaming. I'm like, hey! And then it's nothing. Shirts. We have matching shirts. Cause we love Romy Ho. I turned her into a bachata tera. <laughs> oh, no me digas, es, es verdad. Yo un fangirl de mucho. <laughs> yes! Bachata ta 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 That cop's like, I'm gonna pull them over. Seriously, I'm Little like, Little does hey, he know, we're not ask drunk. Ask how many drinks we had. One! Yeah, at like eight o'clock. I'm like, hmm, this we're is just turn. Ooh, somebody left their break. <laughs> oh hell no, she got real out here. <laughs> Tombo <Tumbleweed>. weep. <laughs> you know they were fighting over Romy Ho. Romy Ho. Romy Ho. Romy Ho. Like, I'm sorry, but he's just like, and he knows he's, he's hot. Sexy. Like, he's just like, he's like singing, and he's just like, I'm gonna stop and shake my ass for a second. And everybody's like, Yeah. He's just like, I'm just gonna. I know. When he tells everyone else to shut up, he's like, 
And then everything stops. And I'm like, even God stops. Like literally, my heart stopped beating because I was I like, was what's like happening? I was like, take me, take me. I'm your leader. <laughs> <laughs> Romeo is I our ruler. More. I need more, Romeo. Oh my God, I'm so glad I got the tickets. <laughs> right? How fun was that? That's so fun. Oh Where's God. the car? I don't know. We're gonna have to remote control this bitch. And I need to stop first. Let Let me take, take a, a selfie. selfie. <laughs> oh my god. Hola mi gente. I just got home from the Romeo Santos concert and it was amazing. Cause he's the king. El Rey de Bachata. I love him so much. I was a complete fangirl. Like how could you not with that face? That's my Bronx Dominican sad piece. And no, I'm not drunk. I'm just so tired because I'm tired. And no, I didn't leave the Bentley Bears home alone all night. You want to tell them what happened? Well, I thought mommy was coming home, but my Titi Erin came over and she fed me and played with me for a few hours. She even took me for a walk. So that's what I did when mommy went to the concert. She was she was responsible and made sure I had a babysitter. See, I'm not a bad mom. Don't go calling child protective, puppy protective services on me. But me and Brandy got matching t-shirts. Cause he's sexy. What does it say in the back? Can you see it? Can you see it? I have no voice. I'm wearing two shirts because Brandy wanted a shirt, and then we put it over our other shirts. Me, Bentley, are gonna call a night, and Romeo too, Romeo. Hey guys, um, I'm gonna call it a night because I just finished my concert, and I'm mad tired, y'all. Bye. Mommy, I think it's morning because I was sleeping, so we're gonna play. Oh, and bye, guys. <laughs> bye! Best concert ever. I'm La Reina de Bachata. Bye!